Hello, everyone. My name is Austin Thomas, and I am covering my game called Search, Destroy, Conquer for my MMO video game presentation. Now, this might seem a little short, but I like to keep it plain and simple. So the table of contents will include players slash player features, story quests, side quests, inventory items and rewards, enemy types, and the different types of game modes that people can play with others. So first we have the player slash player features. Now the player can be made like a custom character, the hair, the eyes, the jawline, the mouth, shirt, pants, shoes, belt, and so on, can be customized. The player can also choose the type of class they want, which ranges from heavy types, who are known for taking massive damage head on, healers, those who can heal other players, assault types, which those are known for dealing massive damage, yet having low health in the process, and ninja types, which those are for the silent but deadly, and many, many more. Story quests, and sorry for the little typo that's at the top left, but the story quests are quests that the player will find throughout the campaign, just in case you don't feel like playing with other people. These quests will give the players some unique items needed for the much harder quests that they encounter later down the road. Some of these items include better weapons, better armor, and EXP boosts for not just the player stats, but for your weapon stats as well. As the player continues into the story, the quests become harder and harder to complete, with much more challenging bosses to take down the more quests you complete. Side quests. Now, the side quests that the player can do in case the side quests the player can do in case they feel they need some extra equipment or time, which is an option. These can also be done if you don't feel like finishing the main story. Some of these side quests may also be crucial for understanding the lore of the main story. Though, if you're just wanting to complete the game, you don't have to do these if you don't want to. Inventory items. Some of the inventory items you can use to boost experience, stamina, and your character stats such as damage output, critical percentage, and many more. Some items you can trade for exclusive items, and you can also trade with other players as well such as rare melee weapons, rare guns, or just rare power-ups in general, in which some of these can actually be ranked from new, common, rare, super rare, super, super rare, ultra rare, and then legendary. Enemy types. There are certain enemy types in the campaign mode. Certain weapons players can use to defeat the certain enemies, in which the game will update you on when a new enemy has arrived, on what they're capable of, and how to defeat them. All these types of enemies will test each player's skill and whether or not they have what it takes to advance to the next stage slash level. And last but not least, the multiplayer slash game modes. There are many modes for players to do. Split screen, which the players can add bots or other players to do more fun. There are also certain types of modes during multiplayer that each party can vote on, which includes Capture the Flag, Team Deathmatch, King on the Hill, and so many more. The list goes on and on. Anyway, once again, my name is Austin Thomas, and I thank you all for listening to my presentation.